G'day and welcome back. Let's play some more Danish Common Sense in European of Asylus 4. So I'm bringing the guys back. Britain no longer exists as a rival. Yeah. Just kick your ass, you bastard. No longer a valid rival. So I only took one war to actually get all of the Danelaw regions. Now we just need to get the points to core it all and then convert it all to Danish. And of course we now have to revoke our embargo. Barely got to 50 power projection. Eclipse Great Britain. Declared war on Great Britain. We don't have the insult there anymore. Um, Russia. Where are we going? Send an insult. Alright, it's an extra five years. And keep doing conversions. So, yo, army's still being rebuilt. I think this is the entire navy. Aside from them. So, we need to get rid of... That's actually gone down. Okay. We need to get rid of 27 ships. So, we're going to get rid of 18 transports. Goodbye. Well, no, we'll keep the transports. And one of the loading screens tells you to... Dis, um, destroy your transports in between wars because they're so fast and cheap to rebuild. But no. Alright, let's get rid of another nine. So let's get rid of ten heavies. Now, these are actually, yeah, we've got some old ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All war galleons. Select them. They would cost 450 to upgrade, so let's just destroy them. Alright, otherwise the rest of you cost a fortune to upgrade. Alright, you get these guys split off. Um, don't have to go home to war. Well, sure. Best place would still be Lubeck. So you head off. And then these heavies get mothballed. And we get that much closer to breaking even. Hmm. Expensive army. Nice war reps from Great Britain. It's not going too bad. 1683. So we've got 140 years to convert these to Danish. I think we should be able to handle that. Ottomans, Georgia and oh, Russia. Um, no, screw you. So, what was the deal with... What's his name? Oh, because he has cause on our land, so we can't vassalize him. Yeah, we should have taken a colony. Oh, well. And we claim Karelia. It's fine. What do we got going on? Lines from Nuremberg. Probably vassalize him. Yep. Alright, I'll grab the Royal Marriage. It's 21. He'll do the thing. This is Mantua. Uh, no. Thanks for the offer, but no, go to hell. 607 Nuremberg we need to improve with. <clears throat> so, no, 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 no legal heir. One monarch death, personal union. Why would you go to personal union straight away? Shouldn't it be a noble from our dynasty first? A little weird. Alright, improve. Hmm. Where are the other Jaglons? Nowhere. <laughs> we absorbed them all. Regency for the Valois. Regency for Bedelens. Yep. Alright. Romana Brunswick. 
Who's he allied with? Poland, Russia. Ooh, we could do. Yeah. We'll wait. But we'll do that eventually. We should be getting close to actually incorporating someone, shouldn't we? Tyrol. 85, end of next year. Although, Tyrol's down here. Or you could feed him Austria. Yeah, it could be useful. Not gonna have many points for anything. Oh, we need money. Thank you. All right, let's repay that line. Well, how big is Austria? Well, that's right. We're thinking about that, doing that other achievement too. So we've got to make Russia small enough to guarantee 844. I don't see that happening. I have to do it with the Ottomans as well. Eesh. So if we leave Europe alone, just focus on Russia for a while, maybe. Okay, that's what I was going to look for, because, what are we doing? Northumberland. Alright, get it started. And then, yeah, wherever. Finish off the area. West Niles as well. Peter Griffenfeld was perhaps the most brilliant advisor a Danish king has ever had. He was born Schumacher to a wealthy Copenhagen family. After studying and travel abroad, he returned to enter state service as royal librarian. Soon winning the favour of the absolutist king, he became secretary of the king's chamber, in which post he drafted the Konrodoven, which was a justification of absolutism. In 1670, the year of the king's death, Schumacher was made Count Griffenfeld. By 74, he had risen to the high post chancellor of Denmark under King Christian V. He's a statesman. Okay. The guys are getting old, so might use them soon. Calais, yeah, that should be fine. Smolens, got a cardinal. Alright, next idea. We are two years ahead, but let's just finish this off. Attrition down, force them it up. Hey, war with Spain's over. War with Spain. Truce with Spain. He is now allied to nobody particularly strong. But everybody we want to attack, probably. Though we should start sending armies over to Russia. Or actually a Teutonic Order, because I'm sick of having to go around them. So if we can make 48 guys fit in there, which we can. And our leaders are going to start dying again. Cardinal exposed. We lose one. Alright, you are allied with Lorraine, the Pope, and, yep, Russia, of course. If we go to war with the Pope. Or, oh God, actually, Lorraine's not weak. Well, who could we ally? Maybe England. They kind of won our provinces. Well, let's rival, hopefully, the Teutonic Order. Yep. Rival the Pope. Alright, let's fabricate on those two that we want. It's his capital. Yes. Alright, who... That's Poland up there. Alright. No other armies here. We have four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You like get over to the other side. I have no unrest there because I increased autonomy in England. 
in Calais, but Calais are still kicking off because uh, we're converting them. Good. Alright, now I assume you have to wait for separatism to be gone before you can culture convert as well. Must be a core, but then it's going to say something else. Got him. Alright, when are you ready? Now? Alright, you can die. Uh, yep, these guys will stay fine. Keep improving. We have no diplomats, what are they all doing? So Luxembourg, what are you losing? You're in two wars, hopefully one of them is the conquest of you. It is, they both are. Everyone wants him, good. Claim on Marienberg's done, so we get a claim on Ermland. started the thing of, so let's cancel that. Which means we're finally done with overextension. Good, good, good. Truce of Austria has ended. They're getting screwed. So let's dogpile. And call in Britain. And Russia. And Poland. Well then. Not we have any diplomats, but it's re Call from Nuremberg. Uh, why were we doing Nuremberg? That was for vassalization. Sure, why not? He won't die quickly enough that the Regency Council. But what can we do? We can force culture hmm. tempting Let's just see what difference it would make don't think it would make any Fogland get powerful noble it's fine it's one province Austria will see Linz to Bavaria it's not much I know Aachen just peaced out as well no, just losing stuff. Tyrol's gone. Jeez, that didn't take long. Eclipse them. Right, best guess that. Yeah, horrible frame rate. No one would claim that Urbino would be a rightful part of our country. Come on, you gotta be losing. Barely. Because of his allies. Who's he got? Austria. Alright. Well, let's go grab another army. Let me claim on Nava. Another cardinal. If you can go so many cardinals, let's go and try and get this. Paper controller done. Fine. Alright, so what else are we doing? If we declare war on him, Hungary, Lorraine, Papal State, Russia. Yeah, so we don't want to fight Russia yet. with Hungary, probably touching them down there, aren't we? No. This is the one you're allied with. Bavaria and Austria. No. Serbia, Poland and Genoa. Might be worth it. France would come in. Maybe 
Ottomans think of us. Let's go back to improving with them. They want our provinces now. They want every province we have. We have 33. Huron will do stuff. It's fine, I guess. Ah, damn it. Completely forgot about that. Um, where are we going? Get out. This one. Adding will spare core. Of course it does. And then we'll do Lithuania. Alright. Goldingen. Ursul. Raval. No, that's not ours yet. And Riga. 36. I suppose there's a quicker way of doing this. It's not us, that's us. 44, 45, 46, 48, 49, 50. Ah, come on. Who's against it? Minus 60. Who's the closest? What were you? Oh, 17. Mm -hmm. Some that are barely for, so there should be some that are barely against it. Oof, plus one. Alright, so the nearest was... Who was it? Brunswick. Well, what's his reasoning? Opinion of Emperor. Minus 18. So it only needs to go up a bit, apparently. Let's get a royal marriage. Here we go. Brunswick. Yep, a little bit more. Come on. There we go. Now we can pass it. Done. Master of Tobias Craig has died. Now, we are making money, so let's grab... Oh wow, he's actually done really well. Prestige, missionary strength. Alright, now, would they accept the next one? They would. So, let's jump at that. The old clickety-click game. Gonna run out of provinces before we can actually do it, I think. I'm not gonna add them up to find out. Go along the border first. Yeah, we're not gonna add enough. Yes. Do, 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 do. So looking forward to the next patch. Reading the uh, developer notes, sounds like there's some really good stuff coming in. Especially getting rid of this 10 year um, offensive war limitation by adding favours and stuff. Sounds interesting. Not sure exactly how easy it'll be to figure it out and actually get it to do what you want. That's not us, that's not us. To 31, we're close. Is that Theodora there? Damn it. Alright, well. One there. Born home. Calais, we can't do. Kent, then we can't do. We gotta do them soon. Already did them. Damn it. Alright. How far off are we? 17, so let's say 15 provinces we'd need to add. Oh, jeez. Fair enough. 
Why? Why? Why you hate us? I'm proving to them. So Luxembourg needs to die, but apparently they just really want to hold on. So if we declared on them, yeah, they would get protected. Alright. Well, tech should be yeah, got it. And it's enabled heavy frigates, so if we grab this fleet and shove them in here for a second. It'll cost a bit, but sure. And when you're done, you go back to Lubeck. And I don't know, if I need to go home at war. And, well, do we have naval force limit? We have five. Let's grab five. From five. That is not what you are. Traders. Goddamn traders. Pull them in there. Should be right. Alright. So I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you again soon. See you later.